Hello and welcome to my new video clip in which I will show you how I separate an image from a background and uh, post it as isolated object on a pure white background in a stock photography website. So basically I start with the image selection. I'm looking for a very sharp image and I will look for, uh, for the details of the image at about 200% in, in Adobe Bridge. And when I find one that I like, I'll just open it in my Photoshop. The first thing that I do is level adjustment. And basically I will push the shadows and the highlights to a point where I have a very nice contrast image. I'll just merge the two layers and then I'll create a new layer uh, using Control J or Command J on Mac, and uh, basically I'll work on the sec on the second layer to separate it from the background. I picked up this image for this tutorial because it's not very well lit background. It's kind of uh, going between white and gray, and this is how you get an image when you don't use a separate flash for the background. But that's okay. It's easy to separate. I pretty much use only the magic wand tool. I set it to about 15% tolerance and I just make selection. And you can see the selection right now. Just keep holding the shift key and add to your selection. And you will see your background kind of going by itself inside the selection you might need to sometimes use lower tolerance to about five percent or maybe ten but in this case it's a uh, contrasty enough main main subject that i can use 15 even 20 percent sometimes i use and keep adding to your selection. So this is the rough selection right now that I did. Now, you have to zoom in to your object because this is a, a trumpet is a pretty complicated object. So you'll have a lot of places where you will have to keep adding to your selection because you can kind of see the background through them. Make sure you, everything where you know that that's the background you select it. And go through your whole subject at about 100%. I guess it's fine. Here, I have another place where I didn't select. And of course, you will get some, sometimes you'll get a place like this where the selection is not perfect. For this case, I use the elliptical marquee tool. You can just press M or use it from the, or select it with the mouse from the menu. But I always use the elliptical because most of the objects I found that it works better with elliptical than, rent than rectangular tool. And you go through the whole subject once again, quickly selecting it, the mouthpiece kind of got selected wrong. So holding the Alt key, I will deselect the mouthpiece from the selection that the, that the magic wand did for me already. And this whole process doesn't take so long. It Once you get the feeling of it, it takes no more than about two minutes per picture to complete it and, it, and, and for it to be very good. Of course, if it's a hair of a person or something like that, it will take a little bit longer. But it doesn't, it doesn't eat up a whole lot of time. 
doing this I guess that's fine now down here no there is a little problem and make sure you never leave a edged selection kind of going straight or having a bump somewhere and now I'm holding the alt key to remove and the shift key to add to the selection since I'm selecting the background I am adding when I want to get in more into the subject and I'm removing when I'm having a selection going inside of the subject that I'm separating and you can see right here how the selection got got it wrong the magic wand automatic selection got it wrong so I'll just in this case remove from the selection holding the alt key and down here I will add to the selection don't leave any sharp edge on your selections there is a little tiny bump here that I want to remove as well holding the alt key and that's it I think this is a very nice selection and now uh, here is the trick that I do being on the selection on the elliptical marquee tool press press the right button on your mouse and go to feather and you can feather between two three pixels even sometimes more but I tend to do three pixels most of the time and uh, basically now I will hit the delete key and remove my background that's already selected and that's pretty much all of it now just for this tutorial I will fill my background layer with black just to show you how it looks like on on black the edge is not too white so I'll just fill it with white and uh, I guess that's all you that's all you have to do merge the two layers save it as a new image and uh, upload it to your favorite stock photography website thank you for watching this tutorial and uh, and i hope this gives you a new tool in your toolbox to make your stock photography images faster and uh, more productive and more sellable